Good evening, guys. You know, sometimes you got to give the devil its due. And uh, not that I'm calling Alabama the devil, but, you know, when you're in Georgia, it's kind of tough to root for Alabama. But, you know, good is good, guys. And tonight I want to talk about Claude Mays. Uh, I'm sure you've seen them on the shelves. You know, they got some different bottles, kind of the lower end, uh, bottom shelf type bottles. You've probably seen them anywhere from 22 to 25 bucks. And I've tried those in the past and they've actually been decent. I mean, nothing bad to say about them, but tonight I'm going to talk about these and in particular this five year, and possibly this six year, but this five year I've never had, I just opened it up. I'm about to get into it, but it's a 102 proof, which is kind of my, you know, strikes on as far as proofs go. Uh, single barrel aged five years. And here's the kicker with these guys. Uh, a bit confusing. These three seem to have been distilled and bottled in Indiana, even though it's a uh, Alabama whiskey. Uh, these two bottles, I got a 13-year uh, and a 15-year, and both of these say on the bottle that they're distilled in Kentucky. Now, I don't know if they're bottled in Indiana or not, but it does say bottled in Indiana, so I'm assuming they were. Uh, but they are supposedly distilled in Kentucky, so that's that's kind of a weird thing. Uh, these are kind of in their own little world. And by these guys, this is a five-year, a six-year, and this one's a five-year ride. So I'm going to get into this. Actually, I'm looking forward to that because I have enjoyed the Clyde Mays products in the past. But tonight, I just kind of want to get into this five-year, and like I said, possibly that six-year. Um, and with these, the unique thing I get with these Clyde Mays products is I get apples. Uh, supposedly, Mr. Mays was big into uh, uh, putting apples in his uh, whiskey. So I enjoy that. I enjoy that sweetness that I get from the apples. And I can tell you just from the nose right away, I'm getting apples. I mean, it's every time I've opened up one of these Clyde Mays products, I've gotten that. Uh, again, this one's a little hotter. It's 100, 102 proof than the other ones I've had in the past, which were in the 90s. But on the nose, I get that apple sweetness is coming through. And again, these are um, high corn um, mash bills and then the rye and the and, and the barley are kind of splitting the, the remainder, but I mean, in the high 70s as far as corn. So kind of similar to Jack Daniels when it comes to that. Non-chill filtered. Just a great nose on this guy, just a great nose. Man, that's good. Pick it up, guys. Real good. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that the apples and that fruitiness kind of transfers to the palate and it kind of lingers, which I like. Uh, get that brown sugar on the back end. Um, definitely the corn's coming through, that sweetness. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. And, you know, let me go ahead and get into this six-year that I've had for... For a few months now. This one's a little bit hotter. It's 110 proof. But I'm curious what the difference is. If any. Can't wait to get into these two, to be honest with you. Really looking forward to that. But Okay, which is weird. On this one, and again, it's been open a little bit longer than this. Uh, I just opened this one, but that ethanol is not coming through. It's actually a softer opening on, on the nose. Getting actually like raisins for some reason. It's coming through on this one. Getting some of that apple, raisins, some dark, dark sugars for sure. Maybe it's because it is that 110 proof. It's a little bit hotter, but oh man, that's just creamy. Creamy, just sugar goodness on that one. I mean, baked apple pie, maybe? Hmm, let me go back to this five here. I don't care if it was Alabama, Indiana, 
um, Budapest. I, I really don't care. It's damn good, guys. If, if you guys have a chance to pick these up, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I mean, we give a lot of love to Buffalo Trace, Heaven Hill, and, and deservingly so, but don't pass up on this Alabama whiskey, guys. This Clyde Mays is the real deal. So with that, good night. Cheers. Be safe. Until next time.